got a quick eBay video for you here. If you want my honest opinion, I think eBay is probably one of the most underutilized affiliate programs around. They've really improved their their affiliate structure, and uh, eBay has such a strong name that, I mean, you'd almost be stupid not to have these somewhere on your blog. See, with eBay, you don't have to necessarily buy anything to uh, to get paid. You, if someone bids on your an item that they've uh, got to through your site, then you can get paid like that as well. So I'm on the eBay affiliate page, and I just wanted to show you um, how to use uh, this editor kit. Um, but first, let me go over to my blog that I created not too long ago. It's a blog about Tylus Pro V1 golf balls. And uh, if you see here, you've got an eBay ad, but the eBay ads for the Tylus golf balls. I mean, it's a specific ad for um, the golf balls, and I created that through the editor kit. And then if you scroll down, you'll also see an eBay search, which uh, Commission Junction, you have to sign up with them to get to the eBay affiliate program. And that's just simply a search box from Commission Junction. But if you scroll down, you have these links right here on the blog roll. And all these links go to specific auctions on eBay. So if you click on golf clubs, it's going to go right to the golf clubs section of eBay. All right, we're on eBay now, and you can see that, like I said, it goes right to the section where the golf clubs are. Now what I want to do is take you back through the editor kit and uh, show you how to get the code for specific auctions on eBay. So from here we just want to click on editor kit. Then we'll just click on create an editor kit. Alright now we're in to the create editor kit screen. And right here you just want to click on dimensions. As you can see this is a 468 by 60. And you can just go through here until you find the right size that you want for your blog. They've got various sizes. You can pretty much they pretty much have anything that you need for for your blog. So what I did was I actually was looking at these other the width of these other boxes on the side, and I was like, well, I need to get something that's you know similar in width to to this box. So I got this one, which I think was the 180 by 150. And uh, like this one right here. And so then they asked for a theme. Uh, I just put, I think I did sports, which I think is going to turn this blue. Okay, then uh, it wants you to search for the keywords. Click on this, search title and descriptions. If if that's how you're gonna, if you're that's how you're gonna define your keyword. And uh, see here, we'll scroll down a little bit more. Now, right here, you choose the tracking provider. That's going to be Commission Junction. Then, right here, you want your PID. And uh, when you sign up for Commission Junction, they'll give you a PID. It's going to be a, usually seven letter. I mean, seven numbers that you uh, you put in there. And uh, let's see here. So, if I wanted to put in. Golf balls. Okay, and up here there's some things that you may want to check. Um, definitely want to check open links in a new browser window so that way when they click on it, you don't they don't actually get off of your site. And uh, I think that's it for the screen. Is click continue. Alright, then once that's completed, they just give you this uh, this code, and uh, basically you just take this code and uh, select all, and then copy, and then from here you'll take this code and implement it into your WordPress template. Now, if you saw the other video, then you know that I don't I don't do this. I just uh, you know email Rebecca. Uh, email her with the code, and she slaps on my side like within a, in a you know a couple minutes. And then the next thing you know, I've got you know an ad like this right here, floating around on my blog. And uh, I know I'm a little lazy, 
doing that. But you know, I just want to show you that uh, you definitely want to use eBay, and uh, I would probably you know try to use more than one uh, type of ad. Tell you what, let me uh, pause this and get back to the editor kit, and I'll show you another type of ad. Okay, now we're back on the eBay affiliate screen, and uh, once you click on tools, and you just click on flexible destination tool. <clears throat> this is the tool that I used uh, to set up the blog roll. Let me show you. Let me click back on this, and I'll show you the blog blog roll links right here. I used a uh, a uh, flexible destination tool to do that. And uh, again, you want to enter your PID. And it's good just to create a notepad with your PID already in it. You can just keep accessing it. Now it says enter the URL of the eBay page that you want to link to. There's really no easy way I know to do this besides to go to, uh, to eBay and do this. So let's go to eBay and I'll show you how to find a specific page that you want to make a link for. Right, we're back on eBay now. I'm going to actually type in what I want to um, look for. So we're going to type in Titleist Pro V1 X out golf balls, which they have misprints and things like that on them, and so they're usually cheaper. Just click search. Okay, now we're on that screen. As you can see, there's only two auctions at the moment right now for these. But all you got to do for this is just up here, right click on this address and copy it. That gives you the exact page of the exact link for where this page is. Then you just want to go back to your eBay affiliate program, paste that URL in. Then if you have some clickable text you want to use, you can put a uh, Get Tylus Pro V1 X out golf balls cheap. And then you just simply want to press on make my link. Okay, now you've got an option. You've got link with anchor tag or link only. Now, um, as far as the anchor tag, you, you would want to use that if, for instance, on my blog, Tylus Pro V1 golf ball is the main keyword that I'm targeting on my blog so in that case you probably would want to use that with an anchor text if it's just an accessory item on your blog that's not your main focus then you can just click on link only but either way I mean all you're doing is right clicking you select all and then just paste that into your WordPress blog and like I said um, I don't do that I get Rebecca to do that uh, it's, it's, it's pretty simple I'm just so lazy that I don't want to and, uh, and that's basically it and uh, let's go back to the uh, golf blog. Okay, we're back on the golf blog, and uh, that's basically it. You've got your eBay editor kit. Then also, um, I put a poll on here. I've found out that when you're creating a blog, blog is information for people. And they tend to trust you more on a blog, and uh, you want to create some things that the customer can interact with or the visitor can interact with on your blog. So I've got some news feeds, a poll they can take, um, a couple articles, not anything big, and then uh, my eBay search box. Basically, if someone types a search in here and push find it now, goes to eBay and even bids on a product, then I get a commission from it. Obviously, when they sell it, I also get a commission from it. Got some videos on here, which uh, these are kind of comical videos. I don't know if you've heard of Blend Tech, but it's it's pretty crazy he almost can stick anything in that blender and it, it just shreds it to, to pieces he did a video camera uh, golf balls golf clubs I mean it's crazy that thing is a monster and uh and then you know we implemented the uh, the links on the blog roll and uh, that's basically it just a quick video show you how to implement some stuff uh, for um, eBay to put on your blog